Right on. Um, so more Crystalicious uh, chatter, Jared? Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, um, I mean, what, you want me to do my show and tell here? Or? Uh, whatever you're what? ready for. I mean, have we seen all the specimens? I want to see everything. Well, um, <laughs> so one of the things that I have set up now permanently back here, uh, I've I love identifying rocks and minerals. Um, it's it's amazing to be able to have something and go through all the process and the steps and figure out what these things are. And one of the things that I often look at is crystal structure. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff like your hardness, um, your specific gravity. A lot of these tests like it's too small, right? Like if it's too small, you have location and what you can see. Um, and usually that comes down to crystal structure. So, uh, learning about crystals and how everything kind of has its own structure. I mean, yeah, stuff can change based upon the different temperatures that something was forming under. Um, like I think, um, diamonds are a great example. People point to diamonds a lot. Uh, rough diamonds have a different appearance as uh, they formed at a higher and higher temperature. So based upon the shape, they can figure out, I guess, what temperature they formed under. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a diamond guy. Not yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, so, you know, I have all this stuff now permanently set up so that it can do a lot of identifying. And I have also started micro mounting because a lot of crystals, um, well, if you were to try to go out and find them all, well, you're not finding really big, amazing specimens. I mean, that's just, that's hard, right? Like museum quality, big crystals don't just happen everywhere. Uh, so your options are buying them or you don't have them. <laughs> well, <laughs> simple as that. Yeah, yeah well, uh, <laughs> tiny, tiny crystals um, are very, very prevalent. And you can actually build a much bigger collection of different minerals and crystals um, if you're looking at really small stuff. Um, typically, you know, there's like a couple hundred things that most people will bring into their collection, um, which is very small. It's a very small number of rocks and minerals that people typically collect. However, with something 5,730 different types of minerals out there, you can collect a lot of tiny minerals. Um, a lot of that stuff only occurs in a very tiny size. Um, so having a microscope is amazing. It's a great tool, both in identifying, learning about crystals, crystalline structures, and finding all kinds of interesting, tiny, <laughs> tiny things that you would never, never have guessed. I mean, if, if, uh, we went back in time a little bit and you were like, oh yeah, it's got, are you finding garnets in basalt? I'd be like, no, that's not, not a thing that happens. Um, doing a bunch of research after personally seeing it, I'm like, oh, there we go. You know, it, that, that is a possibility. But, you know, we're talking like, like one-tenth of a millimeter uh, size, size garnet. Um, so being able to find those things is important. Um, one of the things that kind of is the hobby that comes along with this is what do you do with these things, right? Like you're finding all this <laughs> tiny stuff and well, like are you going to lose it, right? right? Like you got to put it, you got to put it, <laughs> you got to put it somewhere. Um, so I've been getting into micro mounting. Now, micro mounting is the process of taking these little tiny minerals that you find, um, you clean them up and you mount them on their own little pedestal uh, for Aww. me. It's like a, <laughs> a, a, a little uh, piece of cork or like a toothpick that I've cut the tip off of. And I glue the mineral to it. And I take a little piece of construction paper uh, that looks like a little X. And I glue it to that. And I stick it in one of these tiny little boxes, right? And uh, it's labeled. And I, yeah, I put my GPS location where I found it and the name and all the info, uh, you know, which number it is in my collection and the year that I collected it. And now you have this, you, know, you have a nice little case for this thing. You have a museum. Yes. And, <laughs> I, and another good thing is that it keeps it clean. So these are all clean, prepared specimens and they're all the same height, which uh, this thing back here, you know, it goes up and down. So if I'm putting 
rocks, 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 rocks in there. Uh, it's, it's a lot of up and down. So these are all the same size now. Um, uh, genius. The, the little pedestals that these are getting mounted to, I'll paint them with uh, Indian ink so that there's not a little reflection. And now I have these little mounted specimens. So the, this is really the basics of it. The world of micro mounting is really its own hobby within the hobby. It's very old, um, you know, uh, micro mounting really kind of, mm, I mean, going back to the formation of the understanding of mineralogy, people had started to do this. They were doing it with, uh, you know, little brass cups in the end of the 1700s. Um, so it has a, a long history and we have a uh, huge uh, time period <laughs> that this spans. However, currently, it's not really that popular of a thing. Some of the, the best literature on it is from the 60s. Um, so there's books out there that tell you how to do this. There's uh, micro mounting clubs. Um, so people get that together. That blows my they, mind. Uh, they trade yeah. these. <laughs> with, there's calls and lectures on it. Like uh, what, what I'm sharing with you right now, it's really like amateur hour here. <laughs> you know, uh, I, uh, I'm somewhat new to it. Um, there's people that I've spoken with that have done it for 60 years. They've been wow. taking these little tiny minerals and they've been mounting them in these little tiny P1 plastic boxes and uh, collecting tens of thousands of them. Um, wow. But what, one thing that is really interesting about the whole process of it, when you start looking at these smaller and smaller crystals is the, how perfect they are. Okay. Um, tiny crystals, virtually flawless. Um, you can also find formations of crystals that you wouldn't typically see uh, scaled up. So a good example would be, uh, I have a little piece of calcite right here, and I believe we will put a photo in. We can get this to focus too. Oh, yeah. So that little piece of calcite, um, I was actually a little confused by it because I had never seen calcite in this form where it's like, little stacked blades. It's so cool. Up. Um, yeah. And it doesn't match anything that I had in any books. Um, and it took a, I even tried to melt it with acid. Come to find <laughs> out not all acids will melt calcite. You know, which that's, a, that's another thing that I, you know, I learned in the process. Um, so very interesting to, to really get into. And uh, lastly, being that I'm in Washington and have a lot of access to Oregon. Uh, we both have zeolites, the zeolite group of minerals in both states. Which <laughs> and your book is zeolites. Oh, uh, like, uh, Rudy's Bible. book, zeolites of the world. It's <laughs> it's so a crazy. masterpiece. It's a oh. masterpiece. You can actually um, read it for free as well. Uh, Mindat has a PDF copy of that, and maybe we can even throw a link down below to that. For I'm making a note really right now because I'm on it. <laughs> um, otherwise, it's like a it's like a hundred and thirty dollar book. So it's kind of oh, one wow. of those things where like nice. you really have to be like, I want to dork out about zeolites, you know. Um, <laughs> so uh, this is actually one that Sarah found, um, and in here that is mounted on a toothpick, ah. and it is a little piece of anal seam and you can see this little crystal ball yeah this on the thing matrix. is impossibly small um and she found that at a road cut so um and that's a perfect structure it's, it's a beautiful beautiful little zeolite so you know uh i would highly recommend anybody if you want to look get a microscope you don't have to get a microscope like this um but you know you can get a decent microscope for anywhere from 200 to 400 bucks that you can start to really observe your rocks and minerals and look at these crystal structures that you have. And it can be endless entertainment. Um, <laughs> it really is. It really is. And we have different microscopes. Yeah. So um, mine is a stereo uh, dissection microscope. So I can put something that goes from really little flat uh, to like nine inch rock under it and, and view it. And it's got two looking holes. That's a technical term. Uh, that's where your eyeballs go. <laughs> Cause we uh, have to. Yeah. Um, so it, th th I, I do think that's an important aspect of this. If you want to get into having a microscope, um, uh, stereo, stereo microscope means you're seeing stuff in 3d. All right. Um, which 
makes a big difference. So um, yeah, the world of micro mounting is fun. What can I say? Uh, Man, the a, world of a... micro mounting just needs to be a, like a t-shirt or something. It sounds so magnificent. Yes. Um, I love and it. if anybody is interested, um, the late Betsy Martin, um, she was uh, an expert in the world of micro mounting. And she was also a art teacher. And then she did an illustrated guide to micro mounting. I have this scanned into a PDF format. And if anybody is out there and you would like it, um, shoot me an email currently rockhounding at gmail.com. I'll email back to you. That's awesome. I might uh, request one because yep, same. <laughs> I, the more you're showing it off, I'm like, you know, <laughs> I, I have a few pieces I wouldn't mind doing that with because it might help free up some more space so I can get some more stuff on the shelves in there. <laughs> well, and, and it doesn't necessarily have to be micro. It can be thumbnail size, right? So like, you know, you can get slightly bigger boxes and you can mount mount your collection and label it. And um, I'm working on a cataloging system so that things don't get lost. I mean, the, the reality is if anybody's watched my YouTube channel. We go rock hunting a lot and it's kind of started to build up. Um, <laughs> there's uh, a, a decent amount of rock here now and I'm turning my attention to smaller rocks, I guess. <laughs> Won't be so heavy and they're easy to pack up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can have a, you, you can have a micro collection that has thousands of micros and in, in like a little space so it doesn't take up much space and it's very cool to be able to build out your 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 collection there so 